Hi, I'm Rob B with Rob D, and in this video, we're going to look at are property investment courses worth paying for? Yeah, make sure you keep watching this one because selecting the wrong course can be very expensive. But don't worry, we're going to give you our top tips to make sure you pick the right one for you. The first thing to keep in mind when it comes to property investment courses is you probably don't need to pay to learn the generalities of investing. There's so much information out there that's free online or really cheap in the form of books. But funny as it sounds, free might not be a particularly good deal either. No, what often happens with free courses is it turns into a rah-rah sales session. They're not holding those courses of the goodness of their heart. They have to cover their costs. And their main focus is to get as many people in that room buying their next course. So the first thing you want to avoid is any courses that offer big or unrealistic promises. If the course is promising vast riches in a short space of time, well, it's probably not going to happen. Use your common sense here. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. It's a common sense approach, but the marketing they use can be seductive. So be careful of big claims and promises. The next thing to check is, have they actually done what they're teaching? You quite often come across in property, somebody who's been on somebody else's course, then immediately sets up their own course teaching the same thing without having done much or any of what it is that they're actually teaching you. So if they claim to have been doing something for 10 years, you can go onto company's house. And if all you can find is a company that was set up six months ago and hasn't had any money going through it yet, then maybe that's something to dig into a little bit further. The next thing you want to establish is, are they still doing it? They may be now selling the courses because their particular strategy is now harder to implement. So check, do your research, ask around on forums, connect with people at meetups and ask the question, does this particular strategy or tactic still work today? It's important to find out because if you don't, you could end up wasting a lot of time and money. The next thing to check is what do other people say about them? We get emails from people all the time saying, Shh, I've heard about such and such a course, should I go on it? And I'll often think, if you just spent 30 seconds Googling the person's name or the name of the course, you wouldn't even need to ask the question. Normally, good teachers who've got a successful course will be more than willing to give you the contact details of former students who've had success, so you can contact them and validate what's been claimed. It sounds like a lot of effort, but if you're going to be spending a lot of money, it's something you really should do. Another thing you want to do before committing to any course is understand what's going to be covered. A catchy course title, like how to become a property developer, may sound fantastic, but will you have the skills by the end of the course to actually be a property developer? So if it's not clear, ask the course provider to give a breakdown of what's going to be covered throughout your course. Another thing to check is what success students are having who've been through the course in the past. You want to see that somebody like you going in with a reasonable amount of dedication and a reasonable amount of resources are able to take what they're teaching and do something with it. You are the customer here and if they've got a track record of success, they shouldn't be afraid to show you. And the last item on our checklist is do you click with them? Any good course provider will be happy to talk to you before you commit to a course. Your gut instinct will often be right. So if you feel uncomfortable, then take that as a sign to maybe carry on looking or do a bit more research. But if you've done all our other checks and you've got a good feeling from it, then maybe this is the course for you. So now you should know if going on a property course is the right thing for you to do. And if it is, how to select a good one. Remember though, education is important, but so is action. That's where the real learning happens. So make sure you apply whatever it is you've been taught. Absolutely. The good news is though, this YouTube channel is free. So make sure you subscribe.